Today in class, you'll begin building your own Google site. As homework, I asked you to brainstorm potential topics, purposes, and audiences for your own site. And I've given you two focuses that you can choose between. One is that you can create a website about a topic of personal interest, that's school appropriate, that you might research and build a website about. So it's basically a research site. The second focus that you might choose between is to create a digital portfolio that showcases samples of your own original work. For example, photographs, artwork, writings, or other digital creations. So to get started, you're either going to go to your drive, or you can go into your Gmail, and you're going to click on the Apps icon, and then click on Sites. and then click on create. I'm going to ask you to use a blank template for this. Come up with a name for your site that's easy to remember that might have something to do with your site. Please do not use your first and last name as the name for your site. After you've selected a name for your site, keeping in mind that whatever you choose is going to be part of the web address or URL for your site. You're going to scroll down and pick a theme. You select a theme and scroll down and pick something that you think will help you to communicate the purpose of your site. And then click on create. Okay, so one of the first things that you're going to want to do once you have your very basic site is to go down to the little arrow where it says more, click it, click on manage site, and from here you can do a lot of different things. One is you can change the word that appears at the top of your site. Since I wanted the URL to be short, I only used the word popcorn, but I want the name of my actual site to be all about popcorn. And the purpose, under site description, here you can type in what the purpose of your site is. The purpose of my site is to educate others about the beneficial aspects of popcorn. Click Save. And you can also change your sharing permissions here, or you could do it up here. Since I'm already here, I'm just going to click Sharing and Permissions. And you'll notice when you first create a site in the district that anyone can find and edit your site. You want to change that by clicking on Change, select anyone with the link, can view. And I'm asking you to select anyone with the link can view knowing that you control who you give the link to. You're going to be copying the link for your site after you click on save. This link, you're going to copy that and paste it into my digital inbox. Please do not invite me as a collaborator on your site. Just give me the link this way. To get back to your site, click on the name of it once again and you can start editing. So if you click on the little pencil, you can start editing. You can change the layout, maybe a two column layout. You can start adding text or images. If you wanted to insert an image, for example, you can go to Insert. I've got a picture in my drive, so I'm going to go to Drive. I took a picture from Photo.com, a Creative Commons licensed image of popcorn, and I put it into a drawing. And I did that so that I could easily put the citation on it. And I'm going to select that drawing. You can change the height and the width of your image. You can choose whether or not you want to put a border or a title on it. Click Save. You can position the um, Google Drawing in the center of one of your columns if you want to. I'm going to click on Save, and then you'll be able to see it. So 
So here's my Google drawing. Here's my citation. If I click on open popcorn, there's the actual, the hyperlinks for the image are actually there so people can actually find out where I got that picture. Okay. If you want to add a new page, simply go up to the little icon with the plus where it says new page, add new page. You can type in a new page. I'm going to call this one Popcorn History. And you can choose what type of page you want. I'm choosing a web page template, but you can also explore these other templates and see if they serve your purpose. You click on Create. And you'll notice in your left-hand sidebar that the new page that you've created shows up there. If you want to get rid of the, um, the comments, at the bottom, after you save it, you can just go to More, Page Settings, and then uncheck Allow Comments or Allow Attachments, and click on Save, and it'll go away. Once again, if you want to edit, click on the little pencil. You can play with your, your layout. So this time I have three columns. Think about what you want your site to look like. You can experiment with um, sizes of font, colors of font, etc. So have fun. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll be circulating. And we'll go back to home.